Hello, hello, chalk loving friends. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace, and I've got a fun project for you today. I'm working in literally, it's a Reader's Digest um, book. It has three different short stories in it. Picked it up. I think, well, actually, I think my sister sent it to me. I think she found it at a thrift store and sent it to me to craft with. Thank you, Kathy, by the way. Um, and so I've been doing a little work in the book creating some projects and I thought this project here, this particular project that I'm going to do would be perfect for this opening page. Um, so the first thing I did was I just put some liquid matte medium um, to use as an adhesive and to adhere this napkin. This napkin you can find on my website in the um, I have a critters bundle. It's a bundle of napkins that have all these sweet critters and this fox is one of them um, and you can get that off my website thecomfynestwithgrace.com but i thought it's such a beautiful photo like photo picture graphic on this napkin so i use the matte medium the liquid matte medium to adhere it like a decoupage medium um, onto the book page this first book page and this is going this project is going to be both facing pages together um, so i started with that the background on the napkin is a, like a light watercolored greenish blue and i want to create a background for the full layout um, that matches so once the matte medium is dry that glue and i use the hair dryer on a cool setting to just dry that all off um, the next thing that I need to do is go in with a little bit of gesso. So I use white gesso to coat the book pages. Um, well, first, I'm cut, what you see me there is just cutting off the excess napkin. Once I get the book right side up, where I'm going to come in with some white gesso and I'm going to coat the book pages with white gesso. And all that's doing is it is covering any residual matte medium and it's also covering the book pages to make sure that the book pages and the napkin are ready to accept acrylic paint because I want to paint the whole background of these two pages the full spread um, in a blue color so this what you're seeing right here is me using a paintbrush to coat the napkin the background of the napkin i'm not touching the fox i'm not touching the florals on the fox's head just the background of the napkin and then the page the book pages with white gesso and the gesso is a it's like a primer for your page it's like a paint primer and it's going to allow it's going to cover anything on the page that might interfere with your acrylic paints or like any pen, paint pens or anything else that you came in with on your project um, so that's all this is is a primer now i'm coming in with my blue paint and so i want to create a background i want to obscure the napkin the edges of the napkin um, where it meets the book page. So I want to cover that up and obscure it so it looks seamless and it all looks like one project. So I'm covering both the background of the napkin around the fox and the book pages with this light blue paint. It's just an acrylic paint, light blue. I think it's Folk Art brand, doesn't really matter. You can use whatever brand, whatever color you want. Just coming in and I'm coating with a really messy, I'm using circular motions and dabbing the paint on so it's really a messy looking paint job but that's kind of the look I was going for I didn't want it to be one solid color I'm not a real big fan of solid colored backgrounds so you're gonna see me just really slopping on this paint and again you can use whatever acrylic paints you have in whatever color you want if you're new to the comfy nest page i am a chalk couture designer i have been since 2017. i'm a huge fan of this product line you guys i'm going to use a transfer here in a minute with um, a squeegee and some paste to put on the sentiment for this project um, you can chalk you can use chalk couture on anything that you want and you're going to see i'm going to use it here on this readers digest book pages after i've painted them um, and i'll walk you through this whole process so welcome to the page if you're new if you're not new and you're coming back as a returning customer or follower thank you for being here please be sure to say hello in the comments so that i know you stop by
Okay, time for a little cleanup and drying the paint before I move on to the next step on this project. I'm eventually, the last thing I'm gonna be doing is using um, a chalk transfer to add a sentiment and um, I'll use paste and a squeegee to do that. But before I do that, I really felt like this background, this page needed something extra, um, a little bit of embellishment. So what I decided to do was to grab um, an ink pad and a stamp, and the stamp is just some flourishes. It's just some swirly flourishes. Um, it's a set that I actually picked up at a thrift store at some point, um, and I'm gonna use this green color which matches the florals in the fox, in the, in the headpiece on the animal. So that green color matches, it's like an all, it's like a bright olive green and it matches the florals in on on the animal's head and so it's a perfect color so what i did was i grabbed these flourish um, stamps that i had picked up a while ago and i add some flourishes you'll watch me add some flourishes in that beautiful green around the fox around the other page on the other side to bring it all together it's a two-page spread the fox is on one side the sentiment will go on the other side and i wanted to just add some embellishments, some designs to pull it all together. Um, so that's what you'll see me do here. Now, as you're watching, I welcome you to ask any questions that you have. Um, ask them in the comments. I'll do my best. I go back uh, consistently throughout the day and make sure that if there are any questions or comments on my YouTube videos that you guys get a chance to ask them and I always answer and respond. So um, again, I encourage you if you have questions or um, if you're here just new or returning that you say hello, I'll be sure to comment and respond once I see that you've um, that you've checked in with me. I'm happy to have you here watching. While you're watching, I think I'll just explain um, quickly that I have um, a, uh, obviously the YouTube channel is for my general business called The Comfy Nest with Grace. I have a Chaka Tour with The Comfy Nest business page on Facebook as well as a VIP customer lounge where I communicate with my customers, my regular customers and subscribers, um, those who get monthly kits from me, those who want discounts and special bundles um, that I offer. Um, my Facebook accounts were recently hacked, literally hacked. I have been locked out of Facebook. Um, I no longer have access to my business pages, although I do have access through um, my virtual assistant and through my husband's account to the groups, which is very strange. Um, no access to the pages, but I have access to the groups. So um, since I no longer have the ability to go live on Facebook on the business pages, I have been making sure to share more projects here. So um, if you're a chalk lover, if you're a Comfy Nest fan, please subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos here, which I will be doing on a regular basis. Okay, before we go in with that all good things are wild and free sentiment, we need to prep the pages again to accept the paste. Um, and the thing is, the transfers are adhesive and we don't want to rip our paper. So what I'm doing is I'm using Chocotour's Surface Wax to add a coating of wax over both pages. Now, why am I adding it to the fox? Because I want the pages to match. I want them to have the same sheen. Um, so I wanna add wax to both sides, even though I'm only chalking on the left-hand side of the spread. So I added the wax, a light coat of it with a shop rag, and then I wiped it off. And now I can take my transfer, and you don't see me, but on my jeans, I fuzzed it a couple of times on my jeans before I go in um, on the page and add the sticky reusable adhesive transfer. I'm adding it. I'm making sure there are no bubbles. I'm making sure that it's lying flat on that book page. And then I'm coming in with our erasable paste. Now, the paste is erasable on non-porous surfaces. So a chalkboard, a mirror, a glass, the front of your microwave, things like that. 
the book page is not non-porous. It is porous. It's going to take that paste like an ink. I will not be able to erase it off of here, um, but I can still use it. I can still use my transfers and paste on porous surfaces as a permanent um, design. And so that's what I'm doing here. So I apply the paste through the transfer and voila, it's that simple. Um, look at the, all good things are wild and free in that beautiful blue color. It's perfect, it matches wonderfully. It's a great sentiment for the opening page. And my hope is that it showcases that you can use your Chocotour products anywhere in your crafting and creative life. If you wanna give it a try, reach out to me so I can get you a Try Me kit. Um, we have Try Me kits that range from 10 to $20. Have a great day.